expect a man to pay for the date. Yes, the whole entire date. That includes my Uber to the date and my Uber back to my house. If you are a man that I'm interested in, I want to see that you can provide for me. I want to see that you can afford an Uber ride. I want to see that you can afford a nice dinner date. Like, can you afford basic things? Because if you can't afford dinner and an Uber, my transportation, you certainly can't afford kids. You certainly can't afford a house. You certainly can't afford my bills. And I got bills to pay. Okay? Oh, hey! Hey, where are the white women at? Now listen, this may come across as mean, and I promise I'm not trying to be. But over here we call it balls and strikes. So if I'm being completely honest about it, I don't think that young lady is going to get very many takers. Because how many men out there can afford to pay for her dinner? If you know what I'm saying. Anyway, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I have a fairly quick and crazy clown world update for you guys today, and with very little time to waste, let's get into it. Now, this is getting ridiculous. Now, if you place your attention on the screen for a moment, here we have a biological male with a goatee wearing a strawberry shortcake dress who identifies as a, oh, you guys get it, I don't need to keep repeating myself. Trans woman, lesbian dating app, ladies restroom, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's not creepy. Now, some of you may have heard a rumor recently that the powers that be are trying to stage a comeback with the uh, virus. And well, let's be honest, election season is almost upon us, so it sounds about right. Now, in order for them to stage said comeback, they would have to create some kind of spectacle. Hence, not a doctor, Jill Biden testing positive at the White House, as well as Whoopi Goldberg from The View. Now here we're going to hear the cackling hens from The View talk about Whoopi testing positive. You'll hear Joy Behar saying, it's back. Then we're going to see Whoopi on a Zoom call at home by herself wearing a mask. The insanity has already begun. Roll it. Unfortunately, Whoopi is out with COVID. Oh. Yep, so rest up and get back here, miss when you feel better. It's coming back. It's coming back. Yeah, yeah. Another friend of mine got it too. I mean, we have to be careful again. And it's Damn. interesting because a lot of people aren't getting that new booster yeah, I just with got a mine. different variety. I got mine. That one is, I, I got it a couple months ago and I did get a reaction to it, but it made me is feel Is everybody safer. eligible for yeah. it now? Or we have to be yeah. certain. In New York, no, everyone. Yeah. Clap yeah. if you had your third booster. <laughs> Very good. Smart. It's worth it. Smart. A few moments later. In spite of everything you've heard, and let me just make sure you all know that it's actually me. Say it's me. Uh, I am not a burning man. I am not still in Italy. I am not, you know, doing stuff. I'm not trying to change the outcome of the election. I just I have COVID. <laughs> I just have COVID. I'm still testing positive, apparently. Uh, I have to have a clear test before I can come back. So it might be uh, a couple of days. But, you know, I'm really thrilled to see the beautiful new desk. I'm really thrilled to see all the beautiful women. You girls look great. And, uh, you know, I can't wait to get back and hang out. But in, until then, it's me and my mask. And I'm sort of confined <laughs> to my room. I have never been sent to my room like this in my, in my, at this age. What the hell did you just say? It's me and my mask. Well, I'm gonna take this damn mask off. All right, real quick, before we go any further, I just wanted to let you guys know that if you're enjoying the videos, you like the content, and you want to help support the channel, grabbing one of these t-shirts is a great way to do it, and here it is. The Revenge Tour 2024 t-shirt, the most famous mugshot in the history of mugshots. 
Now, if you want to grab a piece of history, there will be a link to the t-shirt in the description box below. And I also have some other very cool designs you can check out as well. Mm, nice. Very nice. All right, next up. So when we see clips like this one, and we're starting to see a lot more of them lately, it makes me sad because the only real victims are the innocent kids, like usual with this stuff. Roll it. So I'm at the park with my kids yesterday, and, um, you know, we're playing, and they're swinging, and one kid at the park, as she's swinging, she goes, are you their mom or their dad? And what prompted this question was my kids kept screaming across the park, daddy, daddy, daddy. So this kid was like, wait a minute, why are they calling this girl daddy? <laughs> so, um, you know, I just told the kid, yeah, I'm their dad. And she goes, oh, okay. And she just keeps swinging. And this is the reality. Um, hate and gender confusion is not hard for kids. It's not hard for kids to understand gender. It's hard for a lot of religious communities and adults, and they indoctrinate kids to think outside of their natural understanding. Only girls can be the mommies. Only boys can be the daddies. Yes, sir. Poor old Mr. Rogers is probably rolling over in his grave right now. And one thing I'd like to say to that person is, kids also believe that Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny are real. Anyway, next up. So this person is apparently a early childhood music specialist. Huh? Roll it. One day a child asked of me, can a boy become a girl? I said the idea of he and she is just a myth, you see. Cause gender's just pretend, yeah gender's just pretend. Though people will say that I am wrong. Gender's just pretend. Yeah, gender's just pretend. You'll see it's true before too long. Shut the f up! All right, real quick, before we go any further, I want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to let this play on the screen now. I'll keep you all guessing as to what's underneath the clown face emoji. Anyway, today's video is being brought to us by the YouTube channel Armed and Irish. Armed and Irish, thank you so much for sponsoring today's video, sir. I really appreciate the support. Now, Armed and Irish is a brand new YouTube channel. He's got two very cool intro videos posted up over there. And I'm actually really looking forward to seeing some content go up because, as some of you know, I am a staunch Second Amendment supporter. So, if you are as well, go over after this video, check out his channel, hit the subscribe button, show him some support. I'm sure he would greatly appreciate it. I will put a link to that in the description box below. Also, if you'd like to sponsor the next video and help support the channel, there is a PayPal link also in the description box below. And I will say your full name as a sponsor of said video, unless stated otherwise by you. All right, I think we've seen enough of this person eating cereal, sitting on the kitchen floor. Mm, mm, mm. What the f is this? All right, next up. So here we have a biological male who identifies as a trans woman and calls himself a, you guessed it, a lesbian. This person gets mad at a man for commenting. Well, you'll see. The comment says, she's not cis if she's lesbian. She's lesbian. That's how it works. I'm fairly sure. Huh? Roll it. My favorite thing in the whole wide world, out of anything ever, is men who will just barge into a conversation for which they are not equipped to partake in and just say the most uninformed, just factually inaccurate BS you've ever heard. Um, 
No, Joey, uh, that's not what cis means. Cis, uh, you're thinking of straight. Straight means that you are heterosexual. Now, cis is the opposite of trans. It just means that you identify as the gender that you were assigned at birth. And now, while my my lesbian girlfriend is very butch and, you know, pretty gender non-conforming, she is still cis. So, yes, she can be a cis lesbian. They exist. Um, hope this helps. Next time, maybe think about, you know, is this something that I should be partaking in what the f is this guy talking about all right guys we are going to be wrapping it up on this one now this clip is rather long it's about two and a half minutes long and i probably will let it play all the way through and it's interesting whenever i play clips like this of people complaining about capitalism i get several comments saying mike you're wrong these people are right and i didn't even say anything listen i don't disagree with everything this young lady says she makes some very valid points but what's the alternative? Communism? I don't think so. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. And things are clearly getting crazy out there. So please take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Till next time. I love you guys. Peace. Roll it. Quick reminder that capitalism offers us zero incentives to actually be a worker, yet is a system that requires the majority of us to be workers. And before you tell me that the need for survival is the incentive that is given to workers to keep on going to work because we need that paycheck to survive under capitalism, might I just tell you that it's not that good of an incentive when most of us who work still can't survive? <laughs> Like, oh yeah, go to work so that you can get health insurance, but that health insurance won't actually cover everything that you need. <laughs> or like, go to work so that you can end up having disposable income. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. All of that income will then be going to your landlord. And I think that that's why most of us workers intuitively understand that capitalism is a system that monopolizes freedom for the capitalists. So the capitalists have all the freedom in the world. They have disposable income. They can go travel. They can experience life to the fullest. But us workers... <laughs> not so much which is why everyone is clawing their way to the top you know because then that's where the freedom is but what if we had a system where everyone were free where you didn't have the few at the top the rich that monopolized the very idea of living a free and fulfilling life where the people at the top weren't the only ones that had the free time and disposable income to explore their personal interests i can't stop thinking about all of the rich culture and art and music and everything that we're missing out on because all of these talented workers can explore their actual interests so instead we get the bull passion projects of like Jeff Bezos going to space. We already went to space in the 60s. You're not inventing And with AI and automation, this is even more true. All of that free time and disposable income that those machines are going to create is going to go straight to the top. And we're still going to be grinding 9 to 5 or 12 hour shifts or whatever you're doing to barely survive while the rich get to explore their interests and some. And I think about this all the time in terms of barriers of entry too for hobbies. Like most of us can't just pick up a new hobby because we have to save up for the materials while these motherfuckers can go to space just because they wanted to. And this is why I want worker democracy so badly because I'm sick of my labor and the labor of others paying for these vacation times, paying for their f***ing hobbies while we get to explore none. Under a worker democracy, we could collectively agree to use the AI and automation to increase our disposable income or our free time instead of all of those benefits only being seen by the few at the top being called the capitalists under capitalism. So anyway. No offense, but it sounds like some f***ing commie gobbledygook. And you ain't black.